Hi everyone, we're going to be finishing off this blue string feather from video 230. I have left it this long because I've been a bit nervous about it. It did slightly warp a little and um, I have been uncertain what to do about that. So for today we're going to coat the top with resin. I'm going to use just resin with these part B and part A as a 2 to 1 ratio. So let's show you my cup. I put two cups together and I use the inside one for mixing and the outside one for measuring. So I poured in a, cup, a separate container of water, drew a line on the outside cup. Again, poured that same container in and then drew another line and then again. I have three lines um, that creates for me about 160 mils of resin and that way I can take the cup outside of the measuring cup put that aside and use that until all those cups are used up and then I'll go ahead and do it again to create another when I have different cups so um, I hope that helps anybody um, I certainly like being able to have that freedom to uh, measure out my own depending on the cup sizes that I have um, so yeah all right so we've just poured in part B uh, that is the hardener and so that was one part part B this is two parts of part A And then we'll give it a fabulous mix, um, being sure to scrape the sides and the bottom several, several times throughout. So it's going to be um, about three minutes of mixing. So let's just take the inside cup, there we go, out, and then that's what we use. All right. So this is the scraping and mixing that I was talking about. I'm going to do that for three minutes till it looks it looks cloudy there and so it needs to look clearer. And here it is. You can still see some bubbles, but that's okay, they'll come out as long as you can't see any of those cloudy streaks anymore. So now we're just going to pour straight onto the painting. I'm going to work on the white sections first because there is glitter through the blue. I, I don't want to risk uh, transferring any loose bits of glitter from the blue section out to the white. So just making sure that the resin goes completely all the way to the edge because of that slight bowing. I know that it will be thicker in the middle. Um, but yeah. So here we go, just heat it up with a heat gun now and that allows to clear any bubbles that haven't cleared already and by warming up the resin and slightly blowing it through all the extra little bits we've got there allows it to get right in between those small spaces of the crystals and yeah, so there we go. All right, let's have a look. Okay, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I love it to bits. The resin really brought out the sparkle in the glitter and the crystals. So yeah, I know it was sped up um, hugely. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, but I think it looks stunning and I'm very happy. So thank you so much. Be fabulous.